What's up? We are here. I'm here with my daughter, Kenzie. Hi, my name is Kenzie. <laughs> And uh, basically what we're going to do today is show you how to do a full service on your Honda Grom. Usually do these about 600 miles, five or 600 miles, but um, mine is a little bit over that. But uh, basically what you're going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of keep it short and simple for you, but if you want to, you can take the exhaust off, which is a 12 millimeter, there's two bolts here, and then you're going to go mine's an aftermarket exhaust so you're just going to take this bolt out and the whole exhaust will come down but on a stock exhaust it's got this huge thing across it it's got a bolt to go straight straight across you're going to undo that bolt you're going to undo this bolt and i think there's a, something else you got to undo for the stock exhaust first off you're going to take these two nuts off right here to move this out of the way to get to these two uh bolts which will take you can take the case off it's all right so let's get started So we're about halfway through and I uh, just want to kind of give you an update so far what I've done is I've taken we've taken this off and moved it to the side which is only a bolt and two we took we took this off too. the exhaust and the exhaust bracket down there and basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take all these little eight millimeters out all the way around the case and drain your oil of course This is the oil screen after, I don't know if you can see it, it's just got a little bit of dirt in it, it's nothing really bad, but this is after like a thousand miles. Next is your oil spinner, which is going to be through these three bolts. You're going to take those three bolts out and there's going to be some gunk in here, if not any. The, um, last time I cleaned my bike, the first time service I did, there was nothing in it. The second service, it was like clogged up. 
and always remember to stick a penny in the gears to keep the gears from moving. How would you get it out? Uh, as you can see, all I did was stick the penny in the gears to keep the gears from turning. When you put the socket on this bolt to turn it, always keep your finger right there. Just keep it. So I cleaned the oil spinner out, and it did appear to have a great bit of gunk in it, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. But I did get it cleaned out. And now that you got these three, you have the Loctite on them and the screws back in. All you have to do now is put the case back on the side and put the drain plug in it, put all the screws back in. And you're just going to repeat the process and put it back in. I'm not going to bore you with putting everything on. I'm just going to fast forward from here to the end of the video. <laughs>
All right, now that we've got everything done, you want to put the oil in it. This is the oil I run in mine. It's usually the oil I pick every time for every bike. My last bike, I changed oil like three or four times. This is the oil I used. You can get it at like your local Walmart for $10 or something like that. Or you can go and spend 20 and get the Honda oil. Let's make sure it's going in. Good. Key on. This way. Mm -hmm. I see everything light up. Turn the kill switch on. That red button. Don't put don't mess with the gear shift. This one? Yeah, turn it on. This way. Mm hmm Now what should I do? Hit the starter. What starter? Right there. What little button. Oh, this one? Yeah. Go ahead. Hold it down. Hold it down, yeah. Till it cranks. Okay, 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 okay. watching our video how to change oil on a Honda Grom 2017